How's it going guys? So here we have a brand new blue tongue hutch. Now if you've been watching my channel for any extended period of time, you'll know that I've been using these setups for quite a few years now. There's some more down the back there. Here's the whole fleet. But in today's video, I thought I'd take you through the process of setting up one of these from start to finish. Now I normally use these hutch setups for smaller animals I'm raising up or single males or anything like that where I can't keep them in a big group. But when I'm not keeping in the hutches, these are my big outdoor pits for my blue tongue. So lots of natural plants, live plants, some fake rock back there. Lots of different things for them to do and explore. Now I love the much more natural look of these pits, so I'm going to incorporate some of the features from these in this new hutch setup. And while we're outside looking at reptiles, take a look at all these male blue tongues starting to come out. It's definitely springtime. And breeding action won't be far away. So if you'd like to build one of these yourself, I do have an old video I'll link to in the description showing you a basic idea on how to build one of these. So it's essentially just a wooden frame with a uh, alu panel for the back and sides as well as the bottom and the roof here. This opens up. So we've got a compartment in the back. Again, it's all alu panel around that, which is uh, just short for aluminium composite material. And then it's essentially just wire around the outside to let the uh, sunshine get through, which is just covered by another bit of wood again. And you know, some wheels on the back, a little handle on the front to let it roll around and you're done. So first thing we're gonna do is put in some sugarcane mulch. And this is going into the back box area where it's gonna stay nice and dry. And this substrate allows the animals to really bury down inside it and get nice and secure. For the front area, we're putting in a bunch of eucalyptus mulch. This stuff is amazing. It's really good at holding back any mold, any bacteria, anything like that. And it can also be wet or dry. It doesn't really matter. It holds up very well to any sort of condition. So it's gonna do very well out in this outdoor part of the exhibit where it could be experiencing some rain or harsh sun. So now we have our two sections, our yuki mulch at the front for them to explore around on and our sugarcane mulch in the back them to bury in a nice dry safe area where they can get out of the elements. But next we've got some natural decor we can use for hides and basking areas to help the animals feel more at home. Along with that, I've got this natural looking water bowl, which will help achieve that nice look. I can go over here. I like to put it in the back corner there so it's sort of shaded by this side panel over here so it doesn't evaporate too quickly. So next we have some leaf litter and some branches from some plants. So these are just native eucalyptus. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward works well with the lizards it just gives extra cover and it makes the lizards feel more secure they can go around in all through the different textures and check it all out you can use different species of plant as well uh, as long as it's native and safe and it'll give a really nice natural look so there we have it a pretty simple setup they've got a nice outdoor hide here where they can get some heat under there or cryptically bask they got that leaf litter they can rummage through and again help them disguise themselves a bit, feel a bit more secure and safe. And if they want to get all out of those elements, the heat, the wind, the rain, everything like that, they've got this back retreat here where it's nice and dry and safe. You can bury right down, it's totally waterproof. And this setup is going to give a wide variety of different access to sunlight, shade, UVB, exploration, digging, climbing, all sorts. So it's going to be perfect for a couple of these alpine blotch blue tongues. Let's pop them in and watch them explore around. Now the alpine blotchies go well in this area because it doesn't get too hot, it doesn't get too cold either, even though these guys can absolutely take the cold. But uh, this setup would also work great for eastern blue tongues or any blue tongue really, depending on exactly where you live and how your climactic conditions are. So these guys can live out here full time once they're of age. But you know, I can still use these setups for my western blue tongues, my centralians as well. I just wouldn't keep them outdoors year round because of the different temperature and climactic conditions here compared to where they actually come from. But it's great for a sunny enclosure or full time living for animals like this here. So down the line, I might even experiment using some live plants in these setups. I've always thought I could maybe drill a big hole 
in the bottom that could fit the shape of a plant pot and let a plant sort of sit in there so then they can have some natural plants in there as well but that's something to experiment with in the future for now these setups work great as they are i've had these lizards in these types of setups for a number of years now they've been kept and bred successfully and i've really never had a problem with them so this is just another way to do it you can have a more sterile setup or a more naturalistic setup like this the blue tongues will love it either way Let me know what you think of this new setup down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. It's almost blue tongue skink breeding season, so if you'd like to see a video on breeding these guys outdoors, make sure you check out this video right here.